All right, people. So I wanted to share with you this adapter that I found for flushing out these small outboard engines. So as you may or may not know, your typical set of muffs will not work on these engines because they don't take water in from the side. They actually take it from underneath this cavitation plate. There are other adapters out there that will allow you to, to do the same thing, uh, but like one of them requires you to remove the prop just something I didn't want to do every time I wanted to flush the engine. Uh, I believe the OEM way is to actually pull a plug and there's an adapter that you can put inside the engine and hook a hose up to. Once again, too much work for me. Of course, you could always put it in a bucket um, or a trash can or something like that. Uh, I didn't really care for that idea either. So I went searching around on Amazon and I found this adapter here. Uh, it's cheap Chinese it you know is probably not going to last very long but it was it was cheap um, I did have to make a slight modification to it I did have to to make a cut out here uh, in order for it to slide on properly and even then it, it's still a little bit of fight to get it on but what this does is it slides onto your cavitation plate here and then you can go ahead and hook your garden hose up to it and run it you know very similar to a, a set of muffs um, except that this is made more for this engine and it's a little more convenient I believe so really all you're gonna do once it's like I said just slide it on here and it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get on but once it's there it is definitely on we'll go ahead and screw in our garden hose and now one of the complaints that I saw on this was that the fitting uh, in the side here uh, blows out sometimes. And I, I don't know if that's maybe because people are cranking their water on full blast. Uh, you, only, you don't really need that much pressure going through here. You don't need much at all. Uh, so I just turn it on very lightly and I'm very careful with this connector too. I don't crank down on the garden hose when I'm putting them together. So we'll just turn the water on ever so slightly. I mean, that's, that's really all you need right there. And then we'll go ahead and start the engine. And as you can see, she's peeing just like normal. Anyways, I really like this. No, no prop removal. The prop can even spin still, so if you want to put it in gear, you can go ahead and do that. You don't have to worry about anything hitting. So if you like this video, guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like the content. And leave some comments down below. Talk to you later.